Jim Tressel was 33 when he was hired as YSU football coach in 1985. Today is his last day with the university. From first day to last day, seems like he's always been two to three steps ahead of all of us, right? Well, coach, as many people called him, even in his role as president, reflected on his many football memories. First News anchor Stan Boney asked him about them. I sat last Tuesday with Jim Tressel at the table in his Youngstown State office, which at this point was cleared out. He reflected on his early years and how the people of Youngstown did not know how good a place it was. And to me, that was one of the real exciting opportunities was to see if I could help kind of bring that spirit back to uh, feeling good. At his first team meeting, the coach even saw a damaged self-image in his players. No one had on a YSU t-shirt or sweatshirt. So we made a rule right then, if you ever came to Stambaugh Stadium with something uh, other than a Youngstown State paraphernalia, if it's another university, you turn it inside out because there's only one university that's important. But winning four national championships from 1991 to 1997 changed all of that. You could just see the momentum growing of people's interest and their pride and their willingness and t-shirts everywhere and sweatshirts everywhere and our players you couldn't find them without a Youngstown State football uh, and that was that was so much fun to watch. The head football coach at the Ohio State University Jim Tressel. I felt that the same type of plan would work uh, even though it was the next level, it was just maybe bigger guys and faster guys, but it was guys and it was 11 people at a time. And The Trestle plan worked at Ohio State too, but after a national championship and three appearances in national championship games, he was let go. I wasn't necessarily thinking about leaving at that time. But he viewed his exit from Ohio State as a learning experience and wasn't going to let it define him. If you spend a whole bunch of time bemoaning it or saying, we were robbed or that shouldn't have be or you know it's unfair uh you're wasting emotional energy you're wasting time tonight on first yeah. news at 10 and 11 jim Tressel talks about his presidency stan boney wkbn 27 first news